sequence, maybe? Must every bounded sequence have a convergent subsequence? Form an opinion and vote. How many people say yes? How many people say no? Okay, Bonnie? You're not saying no. <laughs> Does a must a bounded sequence converge? Oh, oh, not necessarily. This is bounded sequence, not convergent. Okay. Must every bounded sequence have a convergent subsequence? How many people said yes? How many people said no? Uh, hmm. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So if uh, sequence is bounded, must it have a convergent subsequence? Most of you said yes. Hmm, which means we have a little work to do to, uh, to, to help you build more intuition. Because um, in, 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 in general, it's not true. Okay, and for general metric spaces, it's not true. So, um, Here's an example. Suppose my metric space were the rationals with the usual metric. Well, then um, here's a sequence with no convergent subsequence. 3, 3.1, 3.14, 3 1, etc. Dot, dot, dot. Which as a sequence doesn't converge in Q, and it also has no convergent subsequences that converge in Q. Now, of course, if it were in R, it, it would converge to pi, okay, and every subsequence would as well. Okay? So it's not necessarily true that bounded sequences must contain a convergent subsequence, but what do you think is true? Harris? What do you mean by dense metric space? <gasps> if the metric space is <coughs> compact, do you think it's true? That is, if the metric space is compact, must every sequence contain a convergent subsequence? How many people say yes? How many people say no? Okay, well, ma many of you have not formed an opinion yet. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to answer that very, very soon. Uh, we're going to answer that very, very soon, yes.